Hi, Nick Leahy from X Restaurant here in Atlanta at the Culinary Center for Big Green Egg, and today we're going to be cooking some uh, Niceland Arctic char. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite fish. We serve it at the restaurant, and uh, I think it's a very underrated fish, and it's a perfect fish. Um, to cook on the big green egg because of two uh, factors. One, it's got a beautiful fat content, which means that with the uh, direct heat, sort of high heat cooking, it'll stand up to it really well, stay nice and moist. And then the other thing is, um, it's got a really nice delicate skin. So it'll crisp up really quickly on the uh, egg and give you some nice textural contrast. Um, one of the things when you're dealing with a fattier fish, so we do have a high fat content, which is great for moisture, but you don't want the overall feel of the dish to get um, too oily or too rich. So we're gonna uh, do a few things to introduce some acid into the dish to help cut through that. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is just add a little lemon zest to the fish itself. This will actually sear into the fish as it's cooking, so you get a little pop of um, the acid and the essential oil from the lemon while it's going, and it'll also just help the mouthfeel overall. Um, so you wanna have a nice, fine microplane. You don't want one of the ones that'll take off really thick pieces, because those can get a little bitter. Um, so just a little bit on the skin side, and give it a quick press in, and then flip it over, and give it another little bit of zest. And you can do other things in here, like a little bit of minced garlic would be nice and stuff like that, just not too much. You don't want to overpower the fish. I always say when you're cooking fish, less is more, um, especially with a beautiful, uh, clean flavored fish like this, you don't want to add too many things to the plate to overpower it. Um, one thing we're gonna do really quick is we're just gonna trim off this tiny little belly piece here. Um, there's nothing really wrong with it. It just can get a little tough during cooking. Um, and it also helps even out your filet so you'll get a nice consistent cooking temperature. Um, we will season the fish with salt when we go to the egg, but you don't want to do it right now because that would draw water out of the fish. And that means when you put it on the egg, you have a greater chance of your uh, skin sticking. So you want to pat your skin dry right before you put it on the egg and season then. Um, the other nice thing about char is it's an incredibly quick cooking fish. So you're talking about just a matter of minutes on each side on the egg and then you're eating dinner. So what we're gonna do is make all of the rest of the dish ahead of time. Um, and for such a beautiful fish like this, I really don't wanna do much to overpower it. So we're gonna make a very simple uh, lemon and herb sauce and then a very simple uh, citrus and herb salad. Um, that will just complement the fish, cut through some of the fat, like I said. So here we just have some parsley. Um, and the first thing we're gonna do is just pick a few of the leaves out. Um, you don't have to be too, too fine with this. Just take out any thick stems. But the parsley has a really nice sort of clean herby flavor. Um, it'll go really nicely in our salad. Yeah, so you don't want something like that in there, but any sort of uh, the leaf with a little bit of the bottom stem is fine. And then we've got some really nice blood oranges. And what we're gonna do is take out supremes of the blood orange. Um, it's nice because you don't get any of the pith or bitter this way. Um, so just take your paring knife. And you don't want to use a really big knife for this because you're doing kind of fine work. So actually the bigger blade is going to get in your way. Um, just come through and start peeling off the skin. And make sure you're getting any little bits of the pith that stay on like that. And then what you're gonna do is come down in between each of the segments and just take out what's known as the Supreme, just like that. And I went ahead and did a couple oranges ahead of time because I didn't figure you guys wanted to watch me do five of these, but we'll do one all the way to completion. And one other little pro tip. Uh, don't throw this away. There's a lot of different things you can do with this, but one of my favorite things to do, especially with a blood orange, because you have a really nice aroma and balance of acid and sweetness, is you could uh, pack this into a jar with some vinegar, and let it sit for about a week, and then you'd have a really nicely infused blood orange vinegar. Or you could take this, um, cook it down in equal parts uh, sugar and water, and make a blood orange simple syrup, and that way you'll have a blood orange simple syrup that you can add to whatever cocktail you're having while you grill out on your egg and make it an even nicer grilling experience for yourself. But for now, since this isn't a cocktail class, we'll just pop that over there. 
Okay, so now we have our nice little bit of uh, picked parsley. We have our orange uh, supremes, a little bit of the juice in there. I'm gonna add just a quick little glug of olive oil. Pinch of salt. And then we're just gonna shave a few radishes into there too, just to give it some texture. I think the sliced radishes look pretty. Okay. And now we're gonna build a quick little sauce for the dish. So we're gonna take the rest of our parsley, and now you do want your big knife, and we're just gonna give it a rough chop. For this one, stems, all, it's all good. There's great flavor in parsley stems, and this is kind of a rustic dish anyway, so you don't have to be too fine with it. Okay. Now we have a little bit of serrano pepper sliced up. Uh, a little bit of heat in the dish is nice. It's another way you can cut through some of that rich um, and fattiness from the fish. You could use uh, jalapeno or w sort of whatever pepper you like the heat level of. Uh, I like a bit of heat, so a serrano is a good one. But And then again, take a nice little bit of olive oil. And then I have a little bit of white balsamic vinegar here. You could use any sort of um, lighter vinegar. You wouldn't want to use a, a dark balsamic or like a red wine, but you could use a white wine, white balsamic, cider, anything like that. And then just a couple cloves of roasted garlic. Just smash them with the end of your knife. I like having roasted garlic around because a lot of times the flavor of garlic's nice in a dish, but you don't necessarily want the real punchy, hot, uh, raw garlic flavor. So we usually do a big batch of it at the restaurant and then have it on hand so that we can use it for anything. And then juice and zest of a lemon. And just stir that round with your spoon. And it's important to do this before we go to cook the fish because you want these flavors to sit together for 10 or 15 minutes so they can sort of meld and, and uh, start getting happy together. So that's all you're really looking for is a nice sort of little bit of body, nice rough uh, sauce vert, which means green sauce in French. You know, it's very technical. Uh, now we're ready to go put the fish on the grill. Okay, so we've got our egg right about 400 degrees here. Uh, we have our char ready to go on the grill. Like I said, this is a quick cooking fish. Um, one of the things you want to do before you put it on is just pat it dry so any little excess moisture is uh, off the skin because that could cause it to stick. Uh, it'll also help us as we go to put our salt on because it'll help it stick to the actual fish itself. And just pat it in there. We did give the uh, grill just a very light brush with olive oil and you want to do that ahead of putting the fish on so it has time to be on there but it won't cause a flame up on your fish because you don't want to get that sort of char acrid flavor. Um, and then just lay your char down. The biggest key to cooking this fish properly is to not move it too early. Uh, you know I see so many people when they're grilling really anything but fish with skin on, it's very important. You really have to just let the fish sit there. If you start moving it uh, too early, then the sear hasn't had time to take into effect, uh, which means you haven't gotten a crust formed and it means that most of your skin is gonna stay there on your grill as opposed to coming away with your fish. You don't need to move this fish around to cross hatch the skin or anything. Just let that fat render through and get that skin nice and crispy. And when we start seeing the cook start creeping up the sides towards the top of the fish, we'll flip it over for a quick finish and then we'll be ready to eat dinner. All right, so it's been about five minutes. Uh, our skin should be nice and crispy. So we're just gonna do a quick flip to finish the fish and then we can go to plating. You want to be gentle and just get the fish turned over. <laughs> okay. Our first step is just going to be putting some of our sauce down. 
but just sort of spread it along the board so it'll be a little bit in each bite of the fish. That way, um, you know, you'll get that flavor the whole way through. And we'll just come in. And you can see our skin is beautifully crisped up. It's one of the best parts about the fish is it has such a nice light thin skin that it just crisps up beautifully and it's actually the best part of the whole fish. Okay. And now to finish the dish, we have this nice uh, simple bright uh, blood orange parsley and radish salad. We're just gonna run that down the edge of the fish. Uh, one thing when you're doing a fish with skin on, you don't wanna put anything really on top of that skin afterwards. One of the big mistakes I see people make is they do a good job getting that skin nice and crispy, but then they'll put their sauce all over the top of it or they'll put a vegetable on top of it. And any liquid that's in these, so like the liquid from the oranges, it's gonna soak in that skin and it's gonna sort of counteract all that work you just put in to get it nice and crispy. So I like to just lay it nice and simply down the side. So it's easy to get a little bit in every bite, but we're not uh, getting rid of all that beautiful crispy skin. And there you have it. Beautiful uh, citrus rubbed Arctic char with sauce vert and a little blood orange salad on the grill, big green egg.